Hi everybody, this is TJ with Trend Jumper Trading and NetPicks.com. I thought I would do a quick video on this morning's energy trades. The energy markets continue to be a great day trade. First trade that triggered in for me was unleaded gas futures. I start at 9 a.m. This trade actually set up right at 8.59. And at 9 a.m. I was able to pick it up on the second bar. Got short. At 63.14, uh, targeting 62.51, and a few minutes later, I had a full target, and then I started trailing the jump line, and it just went down and down. This trade took a while. I just kind of let it do its thing. With every closing bar, I moved my stop down. Finally, it came out right around here at uh, 61.46. This one trade alone was good for 231 ticks, and at $4.20 a tick, it was a $970 trade. Not too bad for a relatively slow market in front of FOMC this week. That's not the only trade I took. I was done with this because I only go with one winner and a positive result. That's my goal with unleaded gas futures. But I also trade crude oil. Crude oil starts at 850. This little blue trade here was a real small trade. When a trade this small occurs, I ignore the targets. I try to get in the trade and then I just trail the jump line. And it would have been a really nice trade. It traded all the way down to here, except that this went so fast, it wasn't possible to grab it manually. So instead, I took the next setup, which was this one. That one was also a good trade. It went to full target. It was a small trade. It was good for 10 ticks, but that's $100, and then I only got one tick on the trailer. So that one got 11 ticks. I try to get two winners and a positive result with crude oil. One of those winners has to have hit the full target. So this one did. Now I just need one more winner of any amount, and I'm done with my approach for the session. And so there was a setup here. Didn't trigger in. The next trade was actually this short trade right here. And that one went down. It actually traded down to its money management level. And then it traded up and stopped out for break even. I only got one tick on that trade. That's what the market wanted to give me today. All in all, a total of 13 ticks with two positions on each trade. But that's it. I was done with crude oil. I just stick with my plan. Some days are better than others. This is the same plan that's resulted in a winning session 99% of the time since October 1st. I mean, it's literally only had one losing session. In fact, here's my spreadsheet where I log my trades. You can see today's session only got 13 ticks, but last week got $1.79. Friday was kind of slow. But when you do this kind of dynamic trading, you also pick up some really big sessions too, like this 82 cent result here. 70 cents on Monday at six dollars and 22 cents in November right there and I'll just give you a quick peek that's the equity curve so far and that's the result of the trade plan with trend jumper dating back to October 1st a couple other trades I was taking heating oil heating oil took two trades this morning the first trade came here at 926 and got caught up in a little bit of noise, a little bit of consolidation after this nice move down. So stopped out on the first trade, but came right back around with a second trade right there. That one went to full target. And it trailed down a little bit also. Not quite as well on the trailer as we typically do. But it doesn't matter because out of these two trades, I ended up 17 ticks positive, And that's my power of quitting plan, a full winner positive result and done for the session and while this session was fairly small only 17 ticks last week was able to pick off 425 ticks and only two losing trades the entire week so that's just the way trading is but if you have a plan that allows you to quit positive on most sessions that's dynamic that adjusts to market conditions letting you take what the market wants to give you session to session you combine that with a strategy with high winning odds, 
the strategy that puts the odds in your favor the way Trend Jumper does. You've got a winning formula and the ability to trade profitably on a consistent basis. A few other trades I was taking today. The Dowie Mini starts at 8.32. The setup came at 8.30 and after waiting two minutes I was able to get in sync with that on this bar. So I grabbed it right here at 13.152. I'm trying to get to the third target and I missed it just by a couple points. So at that point I'm trailing the jump line and it ends up stopping out for a partial. I only got four points uh, per position on that one. And so now I still need a full winner to hit my goal. The next trade was this blue trade. And that one got long at 13.169. Normally I would have adjusted up to 71. But I would have had to all go all the way up to 72. And it was just too small of a trade. So you could get in at 72. I actually took that one at 69. I didn't adjust that one. And it took a little time to get there. The market just kind of vacillated around. But finally it broke through. And it jumped up and it hit the full target right here. And that was good for another 16 points. Meanwhile, I'm trailing now the jump line. And then the, it stopped out for five points with the second position. But these two trades resulted in 29 points. That's $145, two trades, no losses. And for a slow session, I was happy with that. And that's my trade plan anyway. One full winner and a positive result. Finally... I traded wheat futures. This one starts an hour after the U.S. market opens. 9.30 Central. I had an entry at 8.49 and a half right here. Pretty small trade, but that's dynamic trading. My stop was up here. Came under pressure a little, but the stop was perfectly placed. And it had a hard time getting through the 8.49 price level. But with a little patience, just, just staying with the trade, it finally did break through. And it hit that full target. It was a small trade. That was only good for one point. And then I trailed. And ultimately, the way I used my trailer, I had to put my stop up here. Basically the same level as a fixed target. And that's where it stopped out. So I got one point with each position. Two points. And that's my power of quitting result with wheat as well. So I won on all my sessions. I only had one losing trade total. I think this is a pretty good mix. An E-mini, an energy, and an agriculture. And if you can, maybe you could even trade a couple other energies once you get good at the strategy. And uh, I really love the results I'm getting with those with that mix of markets and just limiting your trading you know a few trades on each maybe one trade two depending on what kind of quitting goals if you need one winner or two winners to qualify but it's a pretty good strategy and it minimizes your risk exposure to the market and it keeps moving your account forward on a steady basis all these markets are winning with a high percentage winning rate and excellent profitability. I hope you guys join me on the webinar this Thursday where I will be demoing the Trend Jumper Live and showing you how you can get involved with this dynamic strategy. Look forward to seeing you then.